In this video, I am going to show you how to track type from for GA4 using Google Tag Manager. Hi, my name is Nasim and I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork, especially on conversion tracking. So if you have any issue and you need my help, feel free to contact me. Details on the video description. Let's get back to here. As you can see, I am in the home page of type from. So first of all, I need to open a from and then I need to embed it on my WordPress website. Then I will set up the tracking. So this is the home page and you should sign up or log in. I believe you already uh, have that. So that's why I am going to the back end. So you can see I already made an account, uh, but this form is not able to track in here because we need to embed it on our website because uh, for professionalism we don't use their link we actually use our website so that's why uh, we need to embed this code so for embedding uh, you need to uh, get uh, this embed code and you need to publish it on your website um, like this so just i have opened a new page and i just simply uh, paste this code from type from to here so and now it's look like uh, this so I'm going to open in new tab and you can see this is my type from it's actually iframe uh, uh, it's uh, loading here so that's it so I think you already uh, you can do that so if you uh, don't know how to embed uh, the code on this uh, WordPress website feel free to contact me I will help you no problem okay now I am uh, closing this uh, type from website and because this code is available on my uh, website so for this way i am going to uh, use google tag manager and uh, first of all you must uh, implement this uh, code under this website backend uh, so anywhere you can use plugin or uh, etc like uh, you need to the main thing is you need to uh, yeah, paste this code under the head tag so that's it i hope you can do that so um, i am not uh, going to show you how to connect google tag manager because it's very basic i think you can do that so now uh, let's go to the direct part of this video so i'm going to uh, preview mode of this uh, but uh, uh, google tag manager and simply uh, just uh, copy and paste this uh, direct page of this uh, type from so i am simply going to uh, connect that website and you can see the website is loading and uh, it's successfully connected and here it is and now let's form uh, let's try, uh, type it's a test uh, sim it's actually my name and i'm going to ok and it's actually i need to input test to at the rate of gmail.com so i'm actually it's a test mode so that's why uh, i'm just submitting and if i get back you can see here is the type from submitted event so simply just copy this uh, event and you need to make a trigger first so for making trigger uh, okay uh, also you need to make a ga4 configuration tag if you don't have like first of all you need to open uh, this tag uh, it's a ga4 configuration so and uh, uh, you you can find it on from your analytics dashboard so when you open your analytics you will get your measurement right simply you have to choose uh, you have to input your uh, measurement id and choose the uh, all pays fast so this is this will be your first tag that i already made that like you can see uh, this is my measurement id and this is all page so now i'm going to uh, make new event for this type from so you can see uh, you first i am uh, selecting my configuration tag because otherwise it will not go on my analytics dashboard and uh, I need to make a trigger so trigger will be a custom event and I will input uh, this type form submitted that I got from this uh, preview mode so I, I simply uh, use the same name you can uh, 
change the name here no problem and here you can see i didn't input the event name this is very important because uh, this event name i will be able to see in my google analytics dashboard so you can choose your name so for this video i am using the exact same name type form submitted but you can uh, choose like uh, your generate lead or any etc that you want to uh, see it in your analytic dashboard so if i go on my analytics uh, dashboard uh, here you can see i am opening my analytics dashboard uh, this tag is uh, uh, right now if you want to make any uh, event parameter then you can add like if you want to add the form like uh, you have multiple form you can uh, add the form location or form id but this video i think it's not uh, needed for me but if you need any help you can directly contact me i will help you no problem so and uh, i'm going to save it so j4 event and i am uh, keeping the exact same name also here and this tag is done now i'm going to preview mode again and i will test uh, this event and i will also uh, have a look on the uh, analytics dashboard as a debug view uh, debug view actually the test uh, like a test event uh, for like a google analyte google tag manager say it's a preview mode and analytics say it's a um, debug view it's actually the same thing so now i'm going to uh, test again and you can see i am going to submit and my form is done so if i go back here you can see my type form is submitted when i got the event and let's go back the analytics here you can see uh, yes here it is so type form is here you can see all the uh, some uh, parameter are also already coming here it's a medium referral so user uh, pro properties i didn't send any custom parameter so that's why by default this parameter is coming so now one thing that you need to make uh, it's a conversion so if you want to make a conversion so then you need to uh, go on the uh, conversion and make new conversion and simply paste the name here and uh, you need to put exact same name that you inputted as a Mm, event like uh, event name here so you, you need to input the exact same name so now here and uh, if i uh, test it again and i need to go on the preview mode again and you can see uh, this is uh, opening so first time it's uh, it was coming from just a event now i have made it's a uh, like an a conversion now uh, let's see it's uh, working or not so it's uh, test.com and i'm going to click ok uh, no problem uh, you can use uh, the same name so it's actually test i think you can understand so if i go on the uh, debug view uh, now it should look like a yes here it is like it's now a conversion sign so if you uh, see the event with this kind of sign you can understand uh, it's now a conversion so after a few couple of year hours uh, you will see on uh, on the report section uh, it's actually the conversion so like if i go to uh, user attribution uh, like uh, you can also you will be able to uh, see it on the conversion section like here you will uh, that's all for today if you found this video was useful to you then don't forget to give thumbs up or if you want to see more video from me then hit the subscribe button 
and if you need my help that i am providing as a freelancer feel free to contact me i would love to help you